Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore remains defiant after new allegations of unwelcome advances towards women and teenage girls. A woman tells the Washington Post that Moore called her out of a high school math class 40 years ago to ask her on a date. And another woman tells AL.com that Roy Moore grabbed her rear end back in 1991 after he was married. The former judge is trying to discredit an accuser who came forward on Monday. His lawyer says that Moore's signature in her high school yearbook may be a fake. The candidate is under growing pressure from Washington to step aside, but right now President Trump is not getting publicly involved. Dean Reynolds is in Birmingham, Alabama with the latest. Dean, good morning. Good morning. Well, Alabama's other Republican senator, Richard Shelby, is not supporting Judge Moore and now says he will write someone else's name onto the ballot next month. Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, is not ruling out the possibility of expelling Moore if he wins the election, to which Moore tweeted, Dear Mitch McConnell, bring it on. When the allegations are made and it's not true, it's also horrible for the person who those allegations are directed against. Roy Moore's team tried to paint the embattled Republican Senate candidate as the victim yesterday while aiming to discredit at least one of the women accusing him of inappropriate behavior when he was an adult and they were teenagers. Attorney Philip Jureggi said the only piece of evidence provided by Beverly Young Nelson, a signed yearbook from Moore, might be forged. We demand that you immediately release the yearbook. We accept uh, that challenge if there is a hearing that is conducted by the Senate to allow an independent expert to examine the signature in the yearbook. And new accusations surfaced yesterday with one woman claiming that in 1991, Moore, who was married, groped her and asked about the looks of her young daughters. Another accuser says in 1977, while in high school, she was summoned from class to the principal's office for a phone call. It was from Moore, who asked her on a date. She eventually went out with Moore, who, she says, gave her a forceful, unwanted kiss. Late Wednesday evening, Moore's campaign put out a letter aiming to affirm his character with comments from 12 different women who have known the judge for many years. Do you believe his accusers? President Trump ignored reporters' questions about Roy Moore yesterday at the White House. But the president's daughter and White House advisor Ivanka Trump said she has no reason to doubt Moore's accusers, one of whom says she was 14 when he tried to seduce her. Ivanka Trump went on to say there is a special place in hell for people who prey on children. Gail. All right, Dean. Many people feel that way. Thank you very much.